Hey, what's up? Today's video is very exciting, at least for me. About a year ago, I got a conch piercing and I'm excited to announce that it's finally fully healed. Now, conch piercings can take anything from 9 months to 12 months to even 18 months to be fully healed. And when I say fully healed, then I don't mean semi-healed, I don't mean ready to have jewelry swapped, I mean fully, fully, fully healed. And yes, these types of piercings, well, cartilage piercings in general, and of course, conch piercings, which is a cartilage piercing, those can just take quite a while to be fully healed. I posted a video about my experience getting it pierced that I'm gonna link down below. I am very happy that I got my conch piercing because I think it's a beautiful piercing and I'm very very glad that I ended up getting it. Now let me show you real quick. I'm just gonna move a little closer to the camera. So this is it. This, this one here. And I'm only touching it because it is fully healed so I'm not worried about it getting messed up as you can see. It looks pretty good and I can move the stud around without feeling any pain or anything at all, really. It's quite fabulous. Now, as you've probably seen, my stud is extremely long. Oh, not so much the stud. The post that I have is extremely long. And I had it pierced, of course, with a longer post because you get it pierced with a longer post that it lasts for swelling. And I'm definitely in the need of having it downsized. It's just that right now I'm not close to a reputable piercer with Neo Metal Jewelry which is my favorite brand of piercing jewelry so I'm gonna wait it out until I am somewhere where there's a piercer who uses this brand and then I'm gonna get it changed to a shorter post. Now the actual front, so the gem, that one I can keep. I really just need to change the post that's currently longer to a shorter one because as you can see it's sticking out quite a bit and it shouldn't it should be like this pretty much yeah it should be really snug and if I were to turn around can you see that it's really long in the back right now and I currently wear it pushed out to the front because whenever I sleep I would bump it I were to wear it the other way so I'm really just pushing it out so that I don't accidentally snag it, that I don't bump into it. It's just a lot safer because I'm more likely to snag or bump into the back if it were to stick out behind my ear as opposed to the front of my ear, if that makes sense. So when it comes to conch piercings, get it. It's a beautiful piercing. Just make sure that you downsize at the right time because if you don't and you're not aware of it, then you may run into issues because if it wasn't for this long post, I would never ever bump into it really because it would just sit very snug against the ear. All things considered, I had a very smooth healing time. There was one occasion where I woke up and I had lots of blood on my ear and I think that was three or four months in. I went to my PSA, I was completely panicked and he was like, well, it looks fine. You probably just, you know, bumped it at night or something. That was the only incident that I remember. Other than that, it was usually just really crusty, then there were weeks where it was really tender and I had to be extra careful. Other than that, and this one tiny incident, nothing major happened though. And as I said in previous videos, I always wear my hair up, so I never really snacked it. There were only ever a handful of occasions where I accidentally bumped into it or snagged it. I never slept on it. I didn't do anything crazy with it. It never bothered me during the shower. Overall, the healing was fairly smooth. That being said, and the first week after getting it done wasn't as smooth. I did post a video about this. I'm just gonna go briefly over it. Well, the actual process of getting it pierced was fairly smooth. The first week was, well, quite painful. My ear was throbbing, my ear was fairly swollen, and it was just really sensitive. And I was just really, really uncomfortable. And I just wanted it to be over. So that was that. And after a week, yeah, it was over. And I didn't need it to take any medication or anything like that. It's not that I would ever take medication because I got pissed. That just wouldn't make sense to me. 
it was bearable, it just was a little uncomfortable and it was more uncomfortable than it usually is because usually I get a piercing with my septum for example I got it pierced and then the next day it was fine really I didn't feel extremely uncomfortable and with my conch piercing I did, I felt uncomfortable so while the first week of getting it pierced was, wasn't the greatest week of my life overall I would totally do it again and I am planning on doing it again on this ear. I just find conch piercings very aesthetically pleasing and that's why I definitely plan on getting a second one. Now there are two ways you can actually pronounce conch. Some people say conch, some people like to say conch. I chose conch because I just find it easier to pronounce. It comes more naturally but apparently both versions are correct. I think it's a beautiful piercing and although, as with lots of cartilage piercings, the healing time can be long, it's so worth it. And if you take care of your piercing and if you don't bump your head into various objects, then you should be fine, really. Taking care of a piercing really isn't that difficult. It's really just important to be mindful. That's all. Let me know if you're thinking of getting a conch piercing, I would love to hear that, and if you have a conch piercing, then I would love to hear your tips on healing. My main tips would be don't sleep on it, just rinse it in the shower, and get it downsized the minute it's ready. And when I say that, I mean go to your piercer and have him or her look at it, and if he or she says it's cool, you're good to go, then just have it downsized right there. That was it for me. I'm just really glad that my conch piercing is finally healed after one amazing year and I can't wait to get my second one. Have a lovely day and see you next time. Bye!